Along with the sticks, there are 21 different buttons and dials on the RC Plus 2 controller. But if that wasn't enough, we even have a few button combinations that might make your time flying a little bit easier. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. We've already gone over a few of the 12 buttons you'll find on the front, but we also have this pause button right here. So this will pause the aircraft in the air or during a flight mission, but it only works when you have GPS or vision systems available. And this one is the return to home button. You just press it once and then press and hold, and you'll hear this sound. And just press it one more time to cancel. These are the L1, 2, and 3, and the R1, 2, and 3 buttons and they do vary by aircraft, so we'll go over those once we connect an aircraft. And your microphones are right here and here. And we also went over what all these lights mean here and here, so that's in a previous video. And a bit of a change if you are coming from the original RC Plus controller, DJI moved the micro SD and USB-C ports from the top all the way to the bottom here. And you can see them right over here, so just a little cover here, pops right out, and you've got the micro SD and USB-C. And you also get the M4 screw holes here on the side. So those you can add an X strap to. Now moving to the back of the controller, your alarm is going to be here on the left and an air vent here on the other side. And opening the back, you have the rear cover release. We're just gonna push that. And that's where you'll find the WB37 external battery and the cellular dongle compartment. To take the battery out, you just push this button here. and it just slides in just like that. And also the C1, C2, and C3 buttons are also customizable and we'll get into those once we connect the drone. And these up here are of course the external antennas and most pilots already know, but your signal does come from this flat part. So for beginners, don't try to point your antennas toward your drone, it won't help you at all in terms of signal. And you also do get additional internal antennas right here in the front. And also up top, you've got your record button here and then your shutter button on the other side. So half press this button to focus and then full press it to take a picture. And over here, we have the flight modes. So we have function, sport, and normal. And most of your flights will be in normal, but sport mode will let your drone fly faster, but without obstacle avoidance. And within function mode, you can also switch to attitude, which can be used when the vision systems aren't available or you have weak or no GPS. For this mode, make sure to be careful because your aircraft may drift due to wind or other factors. And up top, you'll get a full-size HDMI port, from here, you'll be able to see a huge display of what you see on your touchscreen. So that's useful if you are trying to show colleagues your screen or if you just want to see smaller details when mapping or performing search and rescue. And for the USB-A port, you can actually use third-party devices like a flash drive or memory card. All right, so we're just going to use the SanDisk flash drive. So we're just going to open up the USB-A port. It is weather sealed, so it is an IP54 rated controller. And of course I plug it in the wrong way like everyone does. So, all right, now that that's in there, up at the top of the screen, you'll see the USB icon pop up. Just gonna swipe down and get some other notifications. But from here, we'll be able to explore that flash drive. So from here, you can get all the items on the flash drive and you can also go into the internal storage on your controller and also transfer things over. So. Let's say the screen recording here, I'll just go like that, move. And I can transfer that screen recording over to this flash drive. So it's an easy way to move files over. But if you have other files like credentials, you can also store them on flash drives and also transfer them over to the controller. And also you'll notice a few holes in the front of the controller. These holes for screws are reserved for mounting holes. So things like the rear mounted SDR module. Now on the other side, we get the gimbal dial right above the record button. And this little dial back here, this is the C4 dial and it is customizable as well. And your speakers are here on the right. And this is actually another air vent on this side. Now that we've gone over all the buttons and dials, we can get into the button combination. So the first one I used was just double pressing the back button. That gets you back to the home screen. But we can also hold the back button. And with the left dial, we can adjust the screen brightness like this. And then if we hold the back button and adjust the right dial, 
we can adjust the volume. And to screen record, just hold the back button and then press the record button. And to take a screenshot, hold the back button and press the shutter button. And the last combo involves the back button and the 5D button. For this, hold the back button and toggling up brings up the home page. Toggling down opens the shortcuts and left will open the recently opened apps. And finally, DJI recommends fully charging and discharging the controller's battery every three months. It is a smart battery, so the battery will deplete after an extended period of time. Well, that's everything outside the controller. Next time, we'll connect our drone and we'll get into the pre-flight settings.